Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about something that some of you may have experienced in your Tesla, whether it's a Model 3 or a Model Y, and that is a smell that's coming from the HVAC system. It's actually the filters. They're getting some moisture trapped in there and some other dirt and debris, and it's kind of nasty. Now, the good thing for us is we've never experienced this, and we have 39,000 miles, which is crazy, but we've never had that issue. Now, the people that I do see have the issue, it's starting to paint a picture of where you're most likely to have this problem. It sounds completely backwards, so it makes no sense to me, but hear me out. In Indiana, it is very humid all year round, except for in the depths of winter, then it's kind of dry, but usually it's very, very humid here. And you would think that would help promote moisture buildup and probably accelerate. But in my experience, I haven't had this issue. And I see a lot of people in California, all the way on the West Coast that seem to have this problem a lot more. And it's generally a drier climate. So it's interesting that that's happening. I could just be imagining it. But anyways, the point is we're getting ready to sell this car and I want to make sure that the car is fresh for the new owner and um, I'm going to be replacing the air filters, but there's actually another step I'm going to be taking that you should probably add to your annual maintenance plan anyways. So if you're a DIYer like me, this is a super simple thing to do, um, but this is something that can help to keep those smells away if you end up having them. I want to thank the sponsor of this video, Phantom Wallet. Phantom Wallet offers premium wallet designs with an aluminum chassis with options of wood, leather, and carbon fiber finishes. Grab the cards you need with a quick flip of the lever, RFID and NFC protection are built in, ensuring a safe and secure alternative to traditional options. Make sure to use code BTG to save 10% on your order. So there's actually two different things that we're going to be doing today. Of course, we're gonna be replacing the filters and I purchased this set of car winder air filters and they are supposedly uh, HEPA rated, but the packaging doesn't say that they're HEPA rated, but they do have the charcoal in them and they will be better than the factory paper ones that are in there. I'll show you the difference when I pull them out. But in addition, there's actually another step that you can take to help clean the system out and keep it fresh. So this can of cleaner right here, uh, there will be a link in the description of course, but what this is, is we're gonna basically feed this pipe into the opening when we pull the filters out and we are going to saturate the condenser and this is going to loosen up the debris and all the dirt and grime off of the condenser and it's going to leak through the bottom of the car and onto the ground so this is something that you can do on an annual basis just to keep it fresh and clean so because of the way that it's all kind of set up it it kind of traps that moisture in the dirt and the nastiness so it's a very good way to clean it out i mean this thing is kind of like a degreaser but at a higher level and it's going to release all that gunk and nastiness off of the condenser so that's what we're going to do now the good thing is this whole process is super easy to do and very diy friendly as a matter of fact the air filters that we purchased check this out this particular set came with the tools that you need now this torx wrench is only going to be used if you have a model 3 so we won't be using this on the model y we're actually going to need a socket um, i don't know why they have a different bolt in the model y than the model 3 and they also give you the body tool so now this is very useful um, you've probably seen a number of our videos. I actually have a whole set of these that I use frequently. So even just having this one tool, this is like 90% of my use is this particular tool. So they give you one. So this is something actually really cool to have. Um, and then of course that T20. So we won't be using T20. Let's take a look at the filters. So we have the paper element on this side and then on the reverse side, you can see the charcoal that's in there. Now. These again are supposed to be HEPA rated, I believe. That's going to help to reduce like 99.95% of particles or something like that. HEPA rated is pretty good. Of course, it does come with instructions as well, but the one thing that you need to know is these instructions are for the Model 3. Now, that's okay because almost everything is the same a lot of the steps are the same the only difference is instead of this t20 we're gonna have to use socket to get the bolt out but i'll show you where that's at and how we do that so with that 
Let's just take a look and see how easy this is to do. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna remove these four body clips. And there's one here, one here, one here, and then there's also one way over here. Pretty simple, you know how to remove body clips. If you own a Tesla, they're all over this car. So just kind of pop that down and pull it up. All right, and then now that that's done, we're just gonna pull this down and it should just come down pretty easily, pretty gently. There's two very small clips here we gotta take care of. This one's for the light, and then this one is for the speaker. All right, so I know that was probably really difficult to see. So let's see if I can show you how we just did that. So for the speaker, it's actually a little bit difficult to see here, but there's a little slot right here that you gotta stick a tool through. So just if you already have this set that I've recommended time and time again, I use these all the time, pretty, pretty cheap to get. You just push that through and pull the pin out. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna have to do is we're gonna be removing this whole panel right here and start up top and you can get the tool in there and start to pull it out. And it is a little stiff. Don't worry, you're not gonna break it. Just start to pull the piece back until you feel a little bit of resistance and that's where the clips are. But work your way from top to bottom. All right. And we actually did a pretty good job because all the clips are still there. Nice. It's pretty simple. That's how we pull it out. All right, so now that we're at this point, we're actually gonna be removing this door right here. And here's some really, really good news. This is the bolt we're gonna be taking out. This used to be located way up here. So Tesla must have redesigned this, put the bolt down here, which makes so much more sense, way easier to get to. I can't guarantee it's like this on the Model 3, but it's very likely that the Model 3 has also had this same change. So let me go get a couple of sockets so we can grab the right size. All right, so I don't have a standard set this small. So I'm actually gonna have to use millimeters here in my socket. And I have in my hand a six millimeter and it is pretty close. So whatever the standard conversion is for that, that's what size you need. door is off and you can start to see the back end of the paper filter here so we're just gonna pull this first one out all right so this is the Tesla filter let's see what it looks like Ugh, it's kind of kind of gross yeah that needs to be replaced that's uh, it's pretty nasty let's see what the other one looks like Oh, I can already see dirt on the side. It's actually not terrible. It does have some stains. It's kind of gross, but there's like some bugs in there and dirt anyways. So those are out. All right. So that's what it looks like behind the filters. This is the best I can do for what I can reach. But all those cooling blades, that's what we're going to clean. So you can see it's the whole length, top to bottom. So I'll show you how we're going to do this. All right. So we're going to put the nozzle on and then basically we're just going to feed this in here and we're going to discharge as much as we can feed it all the way around in there everywhere you possibly can all right that's about half the can there that should be enough as far as a chemical smell it's not too terrible it definitely a little bit chemically but not overbearing so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna let that sit for about 15 minutes and we're going to see it start to drip underneath the car. And then that's what it's supposed to look like. You can see how foamy it is. It's bubbling up and it's basically picking up and taking that dirt with it on its way down. All right, now that that's done, there's only one thing left to do and that's to put the new filters in. So let's go ahead and get these in. Now the charcoal faces you and the tab is going to be your telltale sign. Tab needs to be in the top right corner and that's the orientation that it goes in. 
We'll slide the first one in here. And hopefully don't do it like I just did it. Hold on to that tab while you put it in. There we go. All right, now that is in place. Now we can just reattach the cover here. There we go. Get our bolt started. Next, we're going to reinstall our panel here. All right, now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and get this all plugged back in. All right, and there you have it. It was just that simple. It took about 25 minutes with letting it sit here for 15 minutes and letting that degreaser really clean out the uh, the air vent there. So that was pretty simple and it wasn't very expensive either. Now you don't have to clean out the inside every time or even at all if you really don't want to, but a higher grade filter is definitely going to help with keeping out some of the smells. So right now I can kind of smell um, a little bit of that chemical smell. So it's probably best to leave the windows open overnight if you can. Um, if not, let the air conditioning run for maybe an hour or so to help flush out some of what's left. Otherwise, just wait for it all to evaporate and you're good to go. So that's it. Pretty simple. You can definitely, definitely do this yourself. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, of course, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, of course, subscribe to the channel so we continue to post content regularly. You can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Bearded Tesla. Thanks so much for joining us and we'll catch you next time.